Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new, my name is Shanique and this is W Willis Spice and I don't know what to do with my hands right now, so I'm just gonna do this. If you're no stranger to my channel, you know I do a lot of thrift hauls and I just felt like I was overdue for one, even though I just posted one maybe a week and a half ago to two weeks, but I have so many things that I need to show you guys, so I just kind of grab some stuff and put it all together so I could show you guys in this video and then I will have another collective haul pretty soon probably more I'll probably have like two or three if I'm being honest because I just have so much stuff I told myself I'm not going to thrift anymore until I show you guys everything that I have so if you're interested in seeing what I got just keep on watching so I'm really sorry if you can hear my daughter crying downstairs but She's the boss of everyone, and if she doesn't get her way, she gets mad. So she's probably beating my husband up as we speak. But I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys what I'm wearing because all of this stuff is new stuff that I thrifted. So I have on this blouse that is by Ellen Tracy, I want to say. Um, I got this blouse for either $1.50 or two dollars from the Salvation Army and I really like it because it's very lightweight and I don't know I just love the print I love the um, I love that it's floral print but it's black and like kind of like this bluish gray color I don't know it's super vintage I love it I paired it with these hot pink um, shorts hello these shorts they are by the brand Izod and I don't know, I just paired it with this belt that I got for, oh, the shorts were 93 cents. And then this belt was a dollar. And I don't know, I thought that this kind of added like a little preppy, um, sporty feel. Is that a better angle? Yeah. But yeah, I really like the kind of vintage preppy vibe of this outfit. I feel like, you know, I could be going golfing or I don't know, going to play tennis. Um going to the country club but the whole outfit was like four dollars i have a bunch of tops to show you guys so this top i got from the goodwill for two dollars because it was placed in the pajama section but i don't think it's pajamas it's 100 percent silk and it's by the brand jeanette for saint martin and it says 1985 on this and this top is absolutely amazing it is like this royal kind of navy color and then it just has these horses all on it Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is, but this top is just so dreamy and whimsical. I don't know if it's because of the horses, I don't know. But um, this top is actually pretty oversized on me and I could possibly get away with wearing it as like a shirt dress, maybe for a night out. It is kind of short and it dips up on the side, so no, it's a little shorter on the side, but I would definitely wear like some biker shorts underneath this or I would pair this with some like distressed boyfriend jeans or even tie it up and wear it with something high-waisted. This next top is super fun. It's by the brand, am I recording? Yeah. It's by the brand Joseph A. And then it has some French words with a question mark. But it is just this kind of stretchy, um, I don't even know how to describe this material. It's viscose, a viscose nylon blend but what I love about it is it has like these little heart cutouts all around the neck with all of these little rhinestones and then it also has the same detail on each sleeve and I think that's just so cute and playful and fun and it just gives it like a nice detail and this shirt was around two dollars I want to say next up is this acid wash crop top that I actually got when I went home for the holidays in Akron that just shows like how much stuff I have and how I haven't shown you guys but um, I haven't worn this yet it is in amazing condition I mean it literally looks brand new it's by the brand traffic so I'm pretty sure it is vintage but it is just this amazing acid wash button-up crop top and it has like a little lace-up detailing like this and I could definitely wear this open as more of a jacket actually let's just go ahead and try it on I wouldn't wear it with this, but I feel like this would even be really cute with like, oh my gosh, I'm on 10%. This would be really cute with high-waisted denim shorts for like a denim on denim look, or if you had like some acid wash bottoms, that would be amazing. But yeah, amazing condition, and I think I paid 
two dollars or maybe even a dollar fifty for this which is crazy next up i have these two blouses which i thrifted at the same time from the salvation army and they're by the same brand so i think they were donated at the same time possibly they were both around two dollars and they're by the brand evana yeah so this one is a petite one and this is a regular one and this one has that nice damascus print which i'm pretty sure that's what this is called and then it just has gold button detailing and then it has like a band at the bottom but just a really nice, high quality vintage top. And I see fast fashion brands like try to replicate these tops all the time. So it's nice to have like an authentic vintage one. And then this one I really like because it mixes prints as well as styles. So it's like a black and white floral print with the pops of bright flowers on it. And then it almost has like a sporty feel with the sleeves and the bottom. And it's funny because it's like a very low v-neck, but then it has fabric underneath. But yeah, I really love the whole like sporty meets girly slash preppy feel of this top. Another top I picked up is this shirt. And I actually, like once I got home, I realized, I believe this is a men's button-up shirt. It's by the brand The Rail, and it says it's an extra large. So I don't, this isn't vintage. I'm pretty sure this is like more of a modern brand. But I plan on wearing it tied up and wearing, ugh, I plan on wearing it tied up and wearing it with something high-waisted and what drew me to it was it was just giving me saved by the bell vibes like look at this print yeah it was giving me total like 80s 90s saved by the bell vibes so I think this would be really cute tied up with some high-waisted like mom jeans and just like some bands or some canvas sneakers yeah I think that would be really cute another top I picked up is this one which originally came from Target it's by the brand acceleration and it's a size extra small but I'd say it would fit between like an extra small to a medium it's one of those tops that you can kind of just wear open as kind of like a cover-up or it has the longer pieces in the front so you can tie it or you can just tuck it in and kind of turn it into a wrap top and then it's semi sheer so you definitely have to wear like a bralette or something underneath but it has elasticated sleeves and I just feel like it's just so easy breezy for the spring and the summer. All right, the last blouse, I think this is the last blouse that I have to show you guys, is this snakeskin blouse. You guys know animal print has been all the rage like since fall and like for fall and winter it was like really leopard print but now i feel like for spring and summer snakeskin is super in i've seen snakeskin all over on pretty little thing on boohoo but you know sometimes snakeskin can look cheap this looks so expensive on it's by jack and smith collection if i didn't say that but i love how it has a collar but then it kind of has like a v-neck before the buttons start and it has these gold buttons and it just looks expensive like I don't know any other way to describe it, but it looks expensive and I love the way snakeskin pairs with like neon. So like neon orange, neon green, neon yellow. Ugh, such a look. Before I move into the last few clothing pieces, I did stock up on some belts because I just felt like I needed some belts. So I went to the Salvation Army and that's where I got this belt. Like I said, it was $1.99, but it was half off, so I got it for a dollar. So I got this belt and this was ended up being 50 cents and it's just kind of like this shell gray belt with like cream I don't know it's stretchy I love a good stretchy belt because you don't have to worry about you know it being too tight or uncomfortable or not fitting then I got this um kind of like reptilian alligator snake skin type of belt I mean it's faux leather I'm pretty sure um but it just has like this big gold and black buckle right here super cute this was a dollar then i got this one this one is a little bit more on the fancy side this was a dollar as well but it's like braided and has pearls and like gold detailing this could have went with this too if i wanted to be like a little bit more glam it has a hook closure then this one was only 50 cents again this one is stretchy but it's like an aqua kind of green color with white i like it because it's kind of preppy and then this last belt that i have to show you guys this was a dollar as well and it has this big i guess this is supposed to be a shell i don't know but i like it because it's kind of opalescent and then it has like the braided detail and then it just has these cords that you tie it's super like summery and boho 
and perfect for like, I don't know, the beach. All right, I say this in every haul, but if I do a haul and I don't show you guys something from the pajama section, then it's not really a haul. But I got this, are these Moomoo's? Like, would you consider this a Moomoo? Moo? It's inside out though. Come on, get it together. It's by the brand Daffodil and it was in the nightgown section, but I would totally just throw this on like on a day where it's 90 degrees like today and you know I wanted to not just be like in a tank top and shorts I kind of wanted to look I don't know easy breezy but I like the pattern and the colors and it's really long and it has this pattern on the bottom and it says it's a 1x but I don't know I like the way it fits it's very loose and airy and yeah, that was $2 from the Goodwill. Another item I got out of the pajama section, but I got this from the Community Hospice thrift store. This was $1.50. It's by the brand Dentel. Definitely vintage. Um, it's like a little slip nightgown, but it's a little too short for me to like wear it that way. So I'll, more than likely I'll be wearing this more so like a cami to layer with other things. But I just really like the neckline and how it's kind of like sheer and has these pretty little pearls on it and if you can't tell it's like a really 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 pale pink and then it has like the floral embossed design it also has like double straps and it has these little pearl things on the straps super cute another thing i picked up from goodwill is just this ralph lauren uh sweatshirt it says it's an extra large i don't know maybe but it's just a white sweatshirt with a navy horse. And I paid $4.50 for this. I paid full price. Um, you guys know I typically always try and wait for everything to be on sale. But this was just so like white. And I feel like it's rare to find something like this with no stains. And it's polo. So I was like, yeah. And it's really, really soft. I got this Anthony Richards. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a blouse. It's a size 24W. Um, I got it from Salvation Army for around $2.00. But I plan on wearing it as more of a dress. It is just, are these, would you consider these Baker stripes? It has like the pale blue stripes and then it just buttons down and it has drawstring down at the bottom to kind of cinch in the waist and pockets. And because it's supposed to be a blouse, the like, it doesn't cinch in right at my waist. It's kind of a little bit lower. So it's a little bit, not the most flattering. I don't know. I'm going to have to like finesse it a little bit, but it has little buttons right here where you can kind of um, where's the strap if you wanted to like pull up the sleeves a little bit but I just thought this is perfect because even though it's kind of like long sleeve it's very lightweight so it still works for like the summer months um, with just like some brown sandals and like a straw bag girl the last thing I have to show y'all I am so happy that I found these. I saw these at Goodwill and I saw that they were a size small and I just assumed like, no, those are not going to fit me. But I was like, let me just try them on anyway. Because look, I mean, they look tiny, but I said, let me try them on anyway. They are these pink camo fatigue um, high-waisted pants. They have the elasticated bottoms like joggers, but I love that they have like this big belt. It just kind of gives it that really like 2000s feel. It has pockets and cargo pockets. But yeah, I saw this. I'm like, this is not going to fit. And even when I got in the fitting room and I was about to try them on, I'm like, girl, they're not going to fit. Like, just give it up. But I didn't realize how stretchy they were. And they fit. They fit. These, I want to say, were $3. Yes, $3 for these pants. Amazing. Oh my gosh. I was so happy to find these, y'all. So happy that they fit. I was like, yes, thank you, Jesus. All right, guys, that's everything I'm going to show you guys in this haul. If you guys want to see all of the other stuff I have in future hauls, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that bell so you can get notifications because y'all know YouTube be hating and they don't want to tell y'all when certain people upload, especially us small YouTubers. So make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you are getting notifications. If you want to follow me on social media, I am on Twitter and Instagram at Viva La Spice. Also, I'm still selling stuff on my Mercari. I'm trying to get rid of of a lot of stuff because I am going to be moving soon. So if you want to check out my Mercari, I will leave a link down below. All of my all of my subscribers, I was going to say prescribers. What does that even mean? All of my subscribers do get a discount on 
on my Mercari. So I will leave that down below. And yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs this video up if you enjoyed it. And I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.